Hello and welcome to another Forza Horizon 4 video. Now, early 2000s supercars. These dinosaurs lived in an age of V10s and V8s way before hybridisation kicked in. And as flappy pallet gearboxes were still an early and fairly clunky invention to go in a supercar in these days, most came optioned with a manual gearbox. So while the modern era of supercars is very exciting, how do these screaming and striking supercars of around 20 years ago stack up against each other? Myself, Hannah and Longbow chose our favourites and met up at the airfield for an argument. This is what I've picked, the 2003 Porsche Carrera GT, as a 5.7 litre V10 with 605 brake horsepower, and it's known for being the safest supercar of all time. That might not be entirely correct, but it's lovely, it's got a V10 and it sounds amazing, that's why I picked it. Next to arrive was a cheater in a tire-eating Swedish supercar. This, my friend, is the Koenigsegg CCX, a monstrous beast of a hypercar, producing lots of power. But I thought, well, where's the CC8? I thought you were bringing that. In my head, I was going to bring it. I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I had made the decision, you know, I was going to comply with the rules, everything was going to go swimmingly, and then I thought... You cheat. What if we had that car, <laughs> but better? <laughs> and here we are. Only a little bit better, it has nearly 300 more horsepower. Exactly. Best car, best best driver. I'm going to disqualify you from every challenge. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Last and potentially least to arrive was Longbow. Howdy everyone. A finely crafted, hand-built, American precision instrument built for racing, unlike your failed Porsche project. Oh dear. Uh, this one actually did race. Koenigsegg's held multiple speed records. <laughs> race proven. Racing means nothing, especially in the context of America, <laughs> along with the supercar. Are you even wearing a racing suit? I've just noticed that. He's Sorry. even wearing a racing suit. The only thing is, why have you got two sides of that steering wheel? Why does it not only go to the left? <laughs> This from the person who watches NASCAR, but we'll gloss over that, the cheater. Okay, the Porsche Carrera GT, fantastic supercar. Really? You know, it's defining, defining an era of, 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 of hypercar with its magnificent sounding V10. But it's not as good as the Koenigsegg. The Koenigsegg, as a company, holds multiple production car speed records, For including the one held by this. It, it's relevant. <laughs> Would you rather have something built in an American shed or a Danish shed. I think I think I pick American shed. A Danish shed? Are you talking about Zenvo? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Never mind. Swedish. <laughs> Before Lombo could offend any more Zenvo or Koenigsegg fans, or anyone from Denmark or Sweden, we moved on. So naturally with these very powerful and fast in a straight line supercars we're going to do a drag race as the first challenge i mean i can only guess who's going to win this one and that's the one that's brought the 800 horsepower koenigsegg if they can actually put that power down though that's a good point because these are on the rear wheel drive so i think the Celine has 550 this has 600 so it might not be all our power that wins this here's where you find out who will drive swapped it to oh god yeah oh it's a good launch but an even better one for the Celine. jeez Right, there we go, finally got the power down. I'm gonna try and slip straight, but it's not gonna work. That has some. <laughs> oh my god. We've just been left behind. Oh my god, I'm actually there. gonna get it. Oh! No! Oh, no, 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 it's close. Mistake, not to lie. What shot it? Oh, barely! Barely, that was close. Same tenth. Wow. Surprise, surprise, the 800 horsepower hypercar has won the drag race. Mm hmm. You saw that one coming. Yeah, take it all in. Wasn't well, that, that wouldn't have happened if, uh, if I'd brought a CC8, you know? Well, yes, because that's you the car we that. wanted you to bring. <laughs> <laughs> this was okay. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, the Selene and the Koenigsegg like, were very close across the line. I don't know how Selene. The I mean, Selene got so much credit off yeah, the line. Off the line, so I well. Had. So obviously, we can't do every single event on our drag strip. Otherwise, the cheater in the Swedish supercar would win everything. So we come to a a, uh, a circuit. Did you just break into that corner? I saw your brake lights yes. flash on. You was. That's not the type of person that I would imagine drives a Koenigsegg. Ah, oh, I've just crashed. Oh, I Worcesters don't drive Koenigseggs, they get 242 mile an hour speed tickets. 
That's a good, that's a good point. Yeah, it's proof oh, this thing's got race heritage, though. It's so understeerable. It's so grippy. It has so, I've never... Well, I've, I have probably driven cars. I missed a checkpoint. I've done that well. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it was waving around. <laughs> yeah, the and checkpoint moved, did it? <laughs> it did. It moved, and I thought I hit it, but I didn't. Smooth and cool transition. We're totally back right. as a three again. Let's go! <laughs> With no editing whatsoever. I activated cheat codes. I'm not going to overtake And now it's going to take Oh, first. come on. I'm, I was going to be sporting, <laughs> and then you just came by. <laughs> After the restart. I took your generosity <laughs> and milked come it on. for all it's worth. We can't have the same result <laughs> as the drag race here. There we go. Oh, I've locked up. Yes, crash into each other some more. Oh, I'm just in, kicked in. Is that your call? I'm just crawling around every corner. <laughs> yeah, Hondas have VTEC, can exactly have I've understood. I've kind of just admitted that I'm probably going to lose this, because even if I'm ahead of you going to that straight, you're going to get past me. And the ceiling looks very, very grippy. It does. Should we say bonus point for best lap? Because I kind of want to make it a bit more interesting with that. I mean, he says on the penultimate lap. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's not what F1 does. Yes, it, well, they decide, <laughs> they don't know if they're going to set up. <laughs> A point for fastest lap. <laughs> you do it on the second fastest lap. We all know that. Right, we're giving ourselves clean air for the fastest oh, lap. Still want to take, still want to take time one flat, Quinn. <laughs> okay, I might do something good for your lap time. <laughs> I might have looked at my lap time. I I got across, got across the line and didn't stop. Oh no! Oh my god! I wonder how many times you have to lift around there. I have to lift about None. fifteen times. None. Yeah. Take it flat. Yeah. So I don't have 800 I'm horsepower. I mean, yeah. you're the one that took the car with 800 horsepower. I've got to drift up across the line. That is the coolest finish you'll ever see. In a fireball. I, I, you I, bet you almost beat me. How are you lap. feeling about that? Oh dear. <laughs> are you feeling about that lap, Quinn? <laughs> Not very good. I didn't do it so I could win. I just wanted to do it for extra points, but I'm not feeling so good about it now. So the next challenge is a top speed challenge but with a little bit of a difference because we're going to try and get as close as we can in miles at hour 2 what the game says our car's top speed are. We were going to do the manufacturer top speed of our cars in real life. Um, the Porsche it's 205, the Koenigsegg is 250 something. We couldn't find a, a direct figure for the Celine. There was so many different. One said 250, there was 220, loads of different numbers. So I believe it's 217 in the game is what the Celine is going to try and hit or get as close to as possible. So I think seeing as I've got the lowest top speed I'll head off first, there's a mini on top of me. I'm just gonna take that as a sign that I should run. So the score that we that will count is the is the score that comes up on the speed trap, not on average or whatever speed is the highest that you get to, just the score that comes up. Oh it sounds so good through the tunnel. I wish it was closer, I can't hear it. 204, 205, we're at the manufacturer top speed. Can it push a few more miles an hour? Might need to lift just a bit here, yep. Yeah. Lost a few miles an hour there. 200, 201, doesn't actually look like I'm going to get much closer than this, 202, and yeah, 202.9 is the speed, so we're somewhat 5.1 miles an hour 203, off. that's high. 203 effect. too far away. We'll count it as 202, because that's what it was. That's only 5 miles an hour off. Yeah, not too bad. What kind of speed can we expect from this? I'm not sure. I don't... In real life, this car is very supposedly aero efficient. Certainly looks like it. I'm guessing the Already orange. Already going faster than the Porsche. The orange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the orange pin <laughs> adds some power, I imagine. It's the orange. Yeah. Turn 11. I'm not sure as that much more to give, to be honest. Right back to 211. Here it comes. Oh! oh Just hit a mini hit a car. on the. Yeah. Yeah, I hit a car. <sighs> I think it was like 205 because I hit that mini. I was, going, I was going I was going 210, but I hit that mini just before I. Okay, it. so 205, that's what, 12 miles an hour off the 217. Right, time for the fastest car. So you've got the highest score to try and beat, or uh -huh. get close to, I should say. 241. Right, already going 180, 190. There's 200, 210, 220. Oh god, everything's coming at me so quickly. 2.30... Gonna have to be careful of the corners coming up. I have not been careful of the corner that was coming up. <laughs> I even tried to warn you, damn it. And I'm supposed to be against you. 
I'm not gonna do this very well. I, I've just lost too much speed. We've got to get within 12 to beat the Solian at least. 220. I'm annoyed at that. Okay. Well, I'm less annoyed at how I did then. Because. <laughs> oh, Lambo's gone. <laughs> Longbow's just annoyed in there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a win for the Carrera, yay. So for the next challenge, we're obviously testing the most important part of a supercar if you're going to just drive around a city, which most people probably will, and that is parking. How manoeuvrable is your car? Uh, we're going to run up, go around this corner, and then park in a space that the other two will form. Three. <laughs> two, one, go. Oh, Drifting oh, around the corner. That wasn't intentional. Kicked out. Almost did its... And that's... Wide angle, he's curved it. Very curved. He curved it hard. There we go. I think I've got a different strategy than you for this, you know? I think it could work. <laughs> <laughs> and she turned and I'm in the parking again. space again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> so with a, with a second... There we go. That's a clear second penalty. You've just destroyed about two million pounds worth of supercar there. Right, a tight line. Oh, oh, and it's not in the space. It's that was a good attempt. I think it's probably the cutting egg there. That's gone all wrong. <laughs> I didn't touch it I, on I my screen. I can see where the thought process was. That's, it's should we say that? That's, yeah, that's, that's close that's enough. That's in for a, in for <laughs> a supercar enough. driver. You did it in with no penalties. You did it yeah. in 17 seconds, 0.28. Okay, I'll take that. So I did 17 seconds, right? Uh huh. You did 14.1. See, I'm just innovative. This is this is the perfect Koenigsegg driver. I am just ascended. Destroying everything. My brain, my brain is, is on another level. It is absolutely <laughs> unbeatable. You're just an inherent cheater. So I think you might have bumped the Koenigsegg. Uh, on my screen, yeah. I didn't. But if you, you say you, you didn't, yeah, yeah, then I'm, I'm going to believe you. You didn't because you lost anyway. What? <laughs> it was oh. twenty point one seconds, <laughs> so you did lose. I should have stopped at the first one. I think you probably would have won that had you nailed the J turn. I think I would have said you're not because you were about a quarter in when you first stopped. So. But yeah, but had he, had he actually like? Oh yeah, for sure. At all, so you know. I mean, if he'd done that, yeah. I would have counted that. <laughs> did and that would have been like twelve seconds. I did it. Yeah, I, did awesome. it. I did this. <laughs> That's your run. Six seconds. <laughs> That's right, his run. Wins. <laughs> <laughs> Cheaters never prosper, except in this case. Except in this except case. Except in this case. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that way, yeah. With one challenge to go. For the final challenge, we decided to see which of our supercars fitted best in a very popular environment for supercars like ours. Naturally, these are the streets of Monaco. Now, as it's a little bit difficult, well, difficult, impossible to reach Monaco in Forza, I decided to recreate the Grand Prix track on a wide open space. That wide open space being the Ice Lake. That's right, with none of the characterful walls and buildings lining the track, this ice track should be a good challenge for our early 2000s supercars. While most of the icy Monaco may look fairly featureless, I've turned Raskas into a brilliant banked corner. So, ice tyres, three timed laps, and whoever sets the fastest time wins. Oh, the grip! So much more grip than the normal tyres, even on ice. I actually feel decent here, I'm able to throw it around. Oh, slide God. Whoa, huge slide out of there. Do you like the uh, the banked Raskas I've got over there? No. I do. Don't like any of this. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I have noticed that I've, I'm gradually getting further away from the Koenigsegg. <laughs> <laughs> How does that Celine have so much grip? It's gaining oh, a second looks... per checkpoint. I'm just taking it easy. Yes, I'm, trying well, I'm trying to, to take trying it easy. To yeah. use the, uh, but you don't know snow. what that means. I'm not sure uh, this car knows what it means. No. <laughs> <laughs> the driver and car combination don't know what taking it easy means. There's so much more grip on the snow than the ice. Get caught out by it. Yeah. You pretty much have to use the snow to turn the car. Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. Ah, I'm gone right into, well, straight line. I'm not doing amazing. Well, this wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> Come on. Okay, we're <laughs> this wasn't racing. So. Yeah, we are now actually racing. That wasn't faster. I'll let you go. And if you think, while watching this, that you could do a better job, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> Please send your inquiries to... By all means, write me a letter. Send it through my letterbox. The box is emptied every Friday and the contents burned. <laughs> <laughs> Have you just stopped in the corner, Zeg? Are you genuinely going that slowly? I- no, I'm- I'm- I'm going full oh, pelt. Oh no. And that might be why I'm going well, so mean, slow. <laughs> 
Battle it's just winning. a race now. This is the final lap you get, Koenigsegg. Let's go. Let's do this together, you and me. I'll even put on your mixtape full of Miley Cyrus. Oh, I hit rocks. Oh. They stopped me. Ah. I did not expect them to stop me quite like that. Can I improve on this lap? Maybe by about a second. Yes, okay. That will do. I didn't improve anyway. And there it is. Oi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, inactivity detected. That's how slow you were. <laughs> so, uh, I'll just start with my lap time. It was uh, 2 minutes 26.9. Oh, it was actually closer than I thought. I could okay. have beaten you. Okay. okay. Longbow. <laughs> Seeing as we were very close. 2 minutes. Lap. Yep. 20. Oh. Five point nine. Oh, oh no! Only a second. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm not really surprised. We were very close. So, what did the Koenigsegg like do? I'm not sure what my lap close. was before this, but I got a, uh, a two twenty-seven point seven. So it okay. wasn't actually that far off. So on the we're, final in, pretty good. we're within about three seconds. Well, not three seconds. Two seconds. I can count. Um, <laughs> two seconds of each other. But the Celine does take yet another win at Mono Snow. So it's all come down to this, the final scores for our early 2000s supercars are in last place. Sadly, it's my Porsche Carrera GT with 9 points. Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't very good at the challenges we did as an umbrella, dancing umbrella, just landed in front of me. Oh! Thank you for <laughs> that. And in second place, surprisingly enough since they cheated so many times, it's the Koenigsegg oh, CCX oh, no. with 10 points, only one more than mine. So you can be happy for that. And in first place with 12 points, so that bonus point doesn't really matter anyway, it's the Celine S7, yeah. the racing heritage. Yeah. So there you go, what have we learned from this? Well, don't do Monaco on ice and don't cheat. This is the moral of the story. Because don't you, do challenges you know, with Hannah. Cheat. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good uh, <laughs> thing to take away from this as well. Don't cheat because you might finish second in the, in the challenge, beating a legitimate competitor. <laughs> Cheetos always take, will finish second. Take my anger out on a independent business. <laughs> Before the Swedish hypercar could turn any more independent businesses to rubble, we move on to the hot laps. We start off with the Celine, which makes a really good getaway. We're going to be editing between all three of the cars. Turn one, really, really nice turn in for the Celine. I could see how Lombo was just so far ahead most of the challenges because it has so much grip, the Celine. Same cannot be said for the Koenigsegg. It feels like a boat with 800 horsepower. Yes, it's very fast on a straight line, but that's not necessarily needed on my short track, which is usually about one minute. As for the Porsche, it's a pretty good mix of the two, but it's not quite as good as the Celine. It doesn't feel like it has as much stability. The brakes on the Celine are fantastic, as you're seeing in this heavy braking zone at the bottom of the hill, and then we rise back up that grip once again helping it. One thing I will say about the Celine is it has really quite surprisingly long gears. I'm quite surprised as to how it can accelerate so fast because yeah it's, it's got really long gears as the Koenigsegg struggles through one of the fastest corners on the track not eating any tire wall so we've done better than the Stig there. Cutting back to the Porsche. Um, yeah the Porsche is decent. It's it's not fantastic anywhere really as you saw in the drag race it wasn't really that fast in a straight line but obviously it's still my favourite of the three because of that amazing V10 noise. Coming to the end of the lap now trying to just compose myself with this Koenigsegg. This was the most difficult part of the lap with this thing trying to open up the last corner as best I can. Didn't really do it too well. Wheel spin on the exit and that is across the line. So the times for our supercars and it's not really too much of a surprise considering how they drive because the Celine did a 1 minute 8.63 and it's actually up there with some of the modern supercars, it's actually faster by a few tenths than the McLaren 600LT. We have to go from 12th for the Celine to 16th for the Porsche as we find that on a 109.77 and then the Koenigsegg CCX is only just faster than a Mustang Shelby GT500 on a 110.2. So there you go, I think that was a fairly clear result that the Celine S7 is definitely the best driving and in Indeed, fastest car of the three. So, thanks for watching. Also, thank you to Hannah and Longboat for helping out with this challenge. I have been wanting to compare cars like these for quite some time. Um, so, yeah, thank you for helping out. Finally, did get around to doing it. I'll leave a link to both of their channels in the description below. So, make sure to go and check their channels out. But until the next video, goodbye.